everyone, it's Mara Allard of Wind, Water and Wisdom and I thought I would talk about an essential oil today and one of the reasons I'm enjoying talking about these oils is the diverse uses of them. You're not just buying a bottle of oil and using it for one way. You can use it many, many ways. So we're going to talk about the oil Kapaya today and the ways we can use that. This is what it looks like and this is a doTERRA oil, again a high quality oil. It has a supplemental label on it, which if you choose to, it says it's safe to ingest. So this oil is grown in the Amazon and also in South America. It is used wildly in um, Brazilian health practices. If you choose to use this oil topically, it is great for your complexion, just like frankincense. So just a drop in your hands, put it on your skin, and it really supports a beautiful, smooth complexion. Um, if you choose to take this internally, it's like the wonder oil. It supports cardiovascular health. It's an anti-inflammatory. It's an immune, great for your immune system, your digestive and respiratory. So it really has a lot of um, accolades supporting using it internally if you so choose. Make sure you use one that is safe to use internally and you research that. But Deuterra does have a supplemental label on it stating that. If you're using it for emotional or spiritual support, it is the balancing, grounding, and harmonizing oil. It is really going to level out the energy. When I inhale this, the vibration I get is a lower vibration, which means it's not uplifting, it's more grounding. It also has a beautiful, earthy, woodsy, um, warm honey-like aroma. It reminds me of a sandalwood, which I just think is a beautiful smell and something really nice to diffuse. In feng shui, this would be great to use in the family gua. And here's the reason. Oh, first I'll remind you where the family gua is. It's in the left middle. So if you walked into the center of your house, the family gua is the left middle. This is a great area to put pictures of your family, your loved ones. And if you're having trouble with a loved one in your family, or even like, um, you know, a distant relative, somebody you've lost touch with or not seeing eye to eye, I would highly suggest diffusing this oil. It helps with deep wounding. So perhaps if you're having a hard time with a loved one, a child, a parent, take a picture out of when you two were happy. Put it in a beautiful place in that room. Put a candle in front of it and diffuse some oil, diffuse copaya. Or if you don't have a diffuser, just put a drop in one hand, rub, bring up to your cup, bring up to your nose, and deeply inhale and spend a couple of minutes just getting in touch with um, that tender part of yourself that may be hurting. So these are just some of the ways you can use Kapaya oil. And um, I really love showing you the diverse ways to use oil in your life, in your home, in energetically and spiritually. Have a great day.